Yeah, my name is Antonio Avella, and I'm a fourth year. I am in the Marine Corps Reserves currently. I've been in since June 1st of 2021. When I signed, I actually had no, no real intentions of joining any military branch whatsoever, but I spoke to a recruiter because of a friend, and it kind of just hit me as I was talking to him that something had to do, and four months later, I left. And uh, I think it's the best decision I've made. I grew up in Orinda, California, which is in the Bay Area. Um, but I tell everyone I'm from uh, Walnut Creek, which is also from the Bay, just because I lived there for the last couple years before I moved down to Los Angeles. I really like psychology, uh, which is my major, but I'm honestly more interested in film, which is my minor. Um, I think that happened just as I started to transfer to UCLA. Um, I really liked... When I first got here, I really liked doing stand-up comedy, and I'd been doing that up in the Bay Area, and then I moved down here and started school, which made it really difficult to do it as much as I like to do. Um, so I still wanted to write material. I love joke writing, and so that kind of led me towards screenwriting. And once I started writing my first scripts, I didn't turn back, and now it's just as big of a passion or bigger than stand-up comedy for me but i love them both so i applied to i was actually going to go to san diego state um i was dead set on transferring there just because i wanted to go i wasn't super big on la and i wasn't really uh sure that i wanted to do film at the time but there was a course for late night writing material like a, you create a whole submission packet and like you write sketches and like monologue jokes and i was really interested in that and ucla offered that course and so I took that course, and that's why I went to UCLA instead, yeah. Well, in high school, I, I despised writing. I was smart enough to get by and, like, do my essays and whatever, but I never read the books, and I just kind of, like, uh, did whatever I could to get my essays done. But now I, I love writing, and I really think it's just because um, the ability to tell a story and, like, make the connections and deliver themes in a way that's really, you know, based on your own experience and taking that and trying to make it so other people can see all the things that you see in it I think that's what makes it really challenging and then that challenge is what makes it fun um, so yeah and I, I just saw that as like something that I really wanted to take on and I feel like I've been getting a lot better at it the more I do it and that just gives me a lot more motivation to just stick at it so I'm in a film club at UCLA called film of film and photography society and every quarter we submit scripts, short stories, and like other sketches and stuff. And a sketch that I wrote, a comedy sketch that I actually wrote while I was taking that late night writing course. I took that, I submitted it, got chosen for production, and I pretty much spent the second half of the entire quarter getting ready for production, casting, finding locations, rewriting the script, uh, just meetings all throughout the week, uh, production design, everything. And then we shot it on a weekend and got everything done. and. Now it's in post-production, it'll probably be ready in a couple months, and we're gonna show it at the end of the year to the entire club as well. And that was the first thing I ever wrote that actually got made, and we had like lighting equipment and like real cameras and a set of like 30 people and real actors that we hired. So it was a really cool experience, and I honestly couldn't have asked for more. Honestly, it was, you know, you think like, man, I really would like to do this for a career and like make a living off of this, but in those moments you have to be like, yeah, I'm not making any money off this, but this is exactly why it came down here and all this work that I've been doing for years, you know, to get into UCLA, to learn how to write, um, to gain the confidence to submit my scripts and, you know, trust that I can, you know, make up for the things that I don't know on the go and just have that confidence and then it all come together and it go really well for my first time doing it. Uh, that is, to me, that's what life's about. So I, I can't complain. I, well, when I first started writing stand-up comedy, which was like the origins of like my passion for writing, I guess. I I did stand up for the first time my talent show in high school, and I was like, you know, I want to keep doing this. And as soon as I got out of high school, I just constantly wrote down material. And I didn't perform stand up for another three years. So I just had about 50 pages of like mostly nonsense, honestly, but just what I considered to be stand up material. And, um, and it was just things I noticed throughout the day, things I thought of before I was going to bed, when I woke up in the morning. And I, when I was in boot camp, I would take the paper that I you know, was supposed to write letters to my family to, and I would write down material uh, on it like while, while I was training there. And it's just something I couldn't help but do. And now I've gotten into, now with screenwriting, I, I get up every morning at 7.30 and I, I write for about 45 minutes 
to an hour and that's been super helpful for me so just making it a habit now part of my routine and um and i'm just really happy that i've found a way to implement to my into my life where it's not only productive but i enjoy it as well i would maybe tell myself to i wouldn't have waited so long to go to an open mic I, it was difficult because it was covid and a lot of them were shut down so i was just like you know i'll wait until so i had i would have had to do like zoom ones and for my first time that's not how you really want to start so it's like i'll just write for now so i guess i can't like have too many regrets over that but i guess i wish i could have started sooner honestly and with writing and honestly goes back to high school is like i wish i had found that passion for writing when i was you know 15 or 16 instead of when i was like 20 you know and um so now i feel like i'm making up a little bit for lost time but I still have a lot more ahead and I think I'm making good progress. So I just take it day by day. I would definitely say, you know, you're obviously you're jumping into the middle of things and other people probably know each other better than, you know, obviously than you know them. So don't let that stop you from getting everything that you can out of UCLA. I think I made a really good decision in coming here instead of going to a state school because not really because of the academics, but because of everything else that's offered. You have to join clubs. It's everything that I've done film related, my internship, my production, my progress as a, as a writer, um, some of the people I've met um, that I consider like important to me, um, I think I'll be friends with for a long time. A lot of them I've met and a lot of the experience I've had are through that film club that I'm in. And that's all extracurricular um, stuff right there. So enjoy your classes and learn something. but. College is, you're not meant to go to your class and then go back home, you know. I, I've been here for, this is my fourth, my fifth quarter now, and I already feel like I've had a full college experience. Um, so it's really what you make of it. Uh, four years can go by like that and you can feel like you did nothing or you can come here for a year and feel like it changed your life, but it's really up to you. I do a significant amount of my schoolwork in the VRC. Um, it's just something about when I'm in that spot, my my brain gets into like a very productive mode. Uh, I've written scripts in the VRC as well. Um, and it's a great space to just relax. Um, they keep the fridge stocked. I, I, I tell this to my, to my roommate that the VRC uh, uh, fed me my first quarter here at UCLA when I was still figuring out like, <laughs> just like my schedule and everything. And I was just trying to make sure I got the class on time. So it was extremely helpful. For me, when I first got here, I really felt like a fish out of water, just based on my previous experiences and just, I guess, some of my own personal beliefs. And um, but I, I felt like at the VRC, even though maybe I didn't know everybody super well, I knew that I was welcome there immediately, and the staff got to uh, know me super well. And um, and that's why I keep coming back. That's <laughs> why so I keep coming back. Um, I'm super grateful, super grateful for the VRC. And I, it's really hard for me to imagine what UCLA would be like if um, I didn't have the VRC. Free basketball games, free football games. I mean, I, yeah, I just, I, I feel like I owe a lot. I, I like to justify my, uh, my psychology degree by saying uh, that I use what I learned in my psychology courses to write scripts because I love psychological thrillers. The first feature script I wrote um, was called The Shadow, which is based on like a like a psychology slash like philosophical theory by Carl Jung. He's like a very famous uh, psychologist. Um, and learning about that, I was like, dang, that'd be really cool in a movie. And I wrote my first uh, feature script about that, um, which I personally really like, but you know, still work in progress, I guess. But, um, but uh, yeah, that's, um, <laughs> that's how I justify my entire education by writing scripts. I would, I would just like to be making movies or, or TV or being, maybe even just being on a set, just uh, if I was even a production assistant, you know, maybe just moving boxes around or something, just being part of the process. First time I was on set, I, I worked the, the boom mic and I didn't even want to really do that, honestly. But as soon as I got there and I really felt like I was adding something to the production and watching everybody else work so hard at the same time, I was like, dang, this is, this is something I want to be a part of in any capacity. Um, so as long as I'm surrounding myself with creative people and working collaborati co collaboratively to make film and create projects and art, then that's good enough for me. But if I could be making my own movies that are from like scripts that I've wrote, 
that would be fantastic. Or doing stand-up comedy too, just on my own. I would totally be, uh, part of me still really wants to do that, but I just know how, how difficult it is to do that because you really are rolling solo when you do, when you go down that avenue. So we'll see. Something I've realized over this last year in college is just to be, to be grateful at all times. Um, when you ask me like where I see myself in five years, I don't really consider myself an optimist. I'm not a pessimist either, but I don't look at the future and be like, man, if I'm doing this, then that would be, that would complete me. I'm, I, I'm, I'm just grateful for what I have right now. I don't need to be optimistic about the future. I just, I'm, I'm optimistic about right now. And so um, I'm thankful for not just everybody, but everything. Um, and I constantly remind myself that. So <laughs> like yesterday morning when I had to go into the DMV and go pay $250 for registration and then another 120 for a smog check only for it to fail. So now I have to go to the mechanic and get it, get it fixed and go back to the smog check. It's probably going to run me six or $700, but I remind myself in that situation, like I have so much to be grateful for that. Like this is, <laughs> this, this isn't going to make or break me. And that's how I live my life. So I'm thankful to everybody that I meet. I'm thankful to the people who have hurt me because I've learned the most from them. So I'm thankful and I'm grateful for everything. To my sister, she just she's her first year of high school, so you know, that's probably difficult for anybody, but I think she's she's killing it. She's probably the most mature 14 year old I've ever met in my life. Um, so shout out to uh, Sophia. Shout out to anybody out on the grind right now. Anybody grinding for something, just uh, keep at it and be grateful.